I have had this Mini Cooper S for two years and this is everything I hate about it. So the first thing I hate about this car is that the bonnet scoop is actually not functional. So unlike the previous Mini Cooper S where it sucks in air through the bonnet scoop straight into the air filter, this car doesn't have that. Instead, it sucks in air through this pipe here, which just goes here, and then it just goes straight into the air box, deeming this bonnet scoop useless. So you can actually buy kits where you get a bit of plastic that goes straight directly to the air filter, and also get a brand new air filter that is exposed. But you're looking at about 500 quid just for that. So the next thing I really hate about this car is its poor reliability. So since we've had this car for two years, we've had the following things replaced. So that'd be the high pressure fuel pump, the timing chain, the oil feed lines for the turbo, and the oil filter housing gaskets done twice. So not only that, but it is high maintenance as well. So you have to check the oil all the time. I check mine twice a week sometimes just to make sure that the level is fine. And it's very inconsistent as well. So it doesn't matter how you drive, where you drive, how long you drive for, the level is always going to be different. So there's never any consistency with it. So this is a dipstick. Hang on, that's the wrong dipstick. This is a dipstick that you use in the Mini Cooper SR56. Why make the end of the dipstick the same colour as oil? I'll never know. Now I'd like to take a moment to give you this discount code where you can get 10% off these awesome car sprays from the car bakery. The car bakery has many different scents for your car, such as Cherry Bakewell, French Vanilla Frappe, Oreo Donut and many more. So if you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for a new scent to sweeten up the interior of your car, check out Car Bakery in the link below and use my code to get 10% off. My discount code is JB underscore UNOS. So be sure to check out the car bakery and again use my code to get 10% off your order. Another thing I hate about this Mini Cooper S is the exhaust note. You cannot hear any exhaust note from this car because it gets overpowered by the sound of the engine. So it makes this car very boring, when, especially when you're thrashing it around country lanes. You cannot really hear anything other than the engine. So unless you're really up close to it, you can actually hear something. Can't you? So the next thing I really don't like is the fact that there is no temperature gauge unless you go through it and menu. So you have this little display here which tells you your speed and also is a stereo in it. And you also got this which can also tell you your speed but also tells you your RPM as well. You can actually go through and look at the temperature gauge via a secret menu, which I actually have a video on. You just go through pressing that little button on the end. But why should you have to do that? You cannot do that whilst you're driving because there's too many steps. And it also means that if your car is overheating, it's too late because you don't actually have a temperature gauge. So people tend to buy an ultra gauge that they put there or on their windscreen. They buy an ultra gauge that tells you a few things like your boost pressure and also your temperature, but that's about 80 pounds, which isn't exactly breaking the bank, but why? Why is there no temperature gauge? Why? 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 So the last thing I really hate about this Mini Cooper SR56 is the passenger door. Now this may seem like a really weird thing to hate about a car, but my passenger door, I don't know if it's common with these minis, seems to be a problem. You'll see that the window gets caught on this top seal here, which means that a lot of wind noise gets in through that gap there. And it's just not nice. Sometimes it also causes the door not to shut properly, but this time it's been all right. So the only way to get this in is to either push it from the outside, but if you're driving already, you have to open it, which you can actually scare your passenger doing this because it makes a really loud noise. Yeah, so that's obviously not ideal. It gets caught on that seal, so and it also makes the door not shut properly all the time. So this has been everything I hate about my Mini Cooper S R56. If you have an R56 Mini Cooper S, let me know what you hate about yours in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.